All right, so the FRP mini bike has just been delivered. Obviously, it's still in the box. I just wanted to show you the size and, you know, what to expect. And honestly, whether you get it from Amazon or from their website, this came directly from them, from FRP. Their shipping is really quick. So, uh, yeah, that's a thumbs up to that. Uh, excited to open the box and uh, let's see what's inside. I like also that on the box, if you notice, they have a maintenance tutorial, a barcode and a code as well, just to scan. But this is actually pretty nice. So just opened the box and as you can see here, it's pretty much almost assembled. It's like 80% or so assembled. And again, you have the barcode to uh, scan to help you, you know, put it together. You're gonna have to put the handlebars, the front wheel, and that's pretty much it with the front, you know, fork. Um, but yeah, let's get it out of the box and uh, assemble it real quick shows here that it says add engine oil so don't forget to do that if you get one of these things just giving you another view of it completely out of the box before we install just gonna put it together right now real quick and yeah get it done this is really easy to to put together so there it is fully assembled out of the box honestly such an easy process to assemble even a kid or child can install this by themselves but yeah i do like some features on this uh, frp mini bike which stand out to me uh, simple things that do matter such as the um, uh, cage on the exhaust that you don't burn yourself i love the fact that it comes with an led light bar you know from factory so you don't have to buy this as an option from amazon or whatever you just get it with the bike it's perfect another thing that actually means a lot to me is that this comes with clamps for the handlebars so it's different than some of the mini bikes that come just, you know, one piece from here. So you don't really have much options in case you want to change this. This comes with that. I, I like, you know, the simplicity. It's such a simple bike and it's it's vintage at the same time. They did go for the um, plastic fenders, which I like. Um, I also like the fact that it's kind of protective. It's uh, covered, the chain drive is covered and yeah, it looks good. Um, one thing you should add is oil, obviously, before driving this or before starting this. I simply use any good, you know, 10W30 oil. I like to use Honda, personally. So I didn't want to bore you guys with the installation process with every screw and bolt, but it was very, very simple. Basically, one bolt holds the forks on here and you just have to tighten this nut down alongside this. Uh, the wheel, same thing. It's literally one big, long bolt with two spacers on either side. Um, same thing with the um, fender. It's just two bolts here and two bolts here. And obviously a standard handlebar. You got four four bolts and these little uh, bar clamps slash risers. And really that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, make sure everything is good. Tighten everything down and you are good to go. All right, so I'm not just gonna sit here talking about this thing. I personally can't wait to drive it because these little things are an insane amount of fun. I personally like this because the exhaust actually is quite quiet, which is very nice. I started it for a little bit and that's great when you wanna, you know, drive it around neighborhoods, maybe in the evening, things like that, where you don't wanna annoy your neighbors. This is a great advantage. And back to the light bar, that's actually another thing that I like is that I can drive at night without having to make any modifications. And this little guy really helps. Uh, one more thing for leg room, if you're a taller person, having these really makes a big difference because when you sit here, no matter how tall you are, you can just adjust the handlebars and move them forward or back, uh, depending on how comfortable it is for you. Another thing that's cool is that the kickstand is spring loaded, so it's not fixed. So when you drop it, it actually flexes a little bit according to the spring. And that's really nice. These are also spring loaded, which are the footrests. And yeah, just very, very nice overall to look at. Uh, and I do like little simple things like the way they opted for the black wheels instead of like the polished finish. It's just something different on mini bikes to come, you know, stock like that. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get to driving it. The seat is also actually pretty comfortable from just sitting on it. So let's see how it behaves while we actually drive it. On switch, put the choke on, give it a pull. Right, so now we put that. Okay.
while driving this by myself, I could only imagine just a bunch of my friends and I having more than one of these and just having little races around the neighborhood and stuff like that because they are super quiet. Um, you're not really going to annoy anyone. Uh, they might be a bit louder when you have you know more of them, but I think they're just super fun to have, especially as a group. Um, another thing is that the ease of use of these mini bikes, I think anyone can drive them. They're really suitable for a vast range of ages. Even my wife, who has uh, virtually no experience on motorcycles or anything two wheels other than a bicycle, found it very easy to, you know, drive around and she actually had a great time cruising around the neighborhood and we were really enjoying ourselves. And thankfully, I do have, uh, you know, a bunch of these mini bikes, so I was able to drive around behind her and she found the FRP uh, mini bike very easy to get used to but also very enjoyable and safe to drive. There was no mishaps, no uh, technical faulties or any complaints, so neither from me or from her. So yeah, I found it very enjoyable. For anyone interested in purchasing this FRP mini bike, you can use my exclusive discount code CARBONGMB100 to save $40 off of the total price. It's already priced fairly well and is less expensive than many of the other mini bike models out there. So hopefully by using my code, that extra $40 off will make it even more affordable and will go a long way for many. This thing is huge fun in such a small package. It's hilarious.
so much fun. Right, guys so that brings us to the end of the video uh, I think this is such a cool little machine I love the fact that you know throughout all this driving I drove it all day uh, didn't even use any fuel it's literally less than a dollar to fill this tank and I think it does like 27 miles every 0.36 of a gallon so it's just super cool uh, I do like the complementaries you know like this neck sleeve and the uh, light which I took off right now didn't really get to use this but it's just nice that you know they include it um, but yeah, it's a really cool little machine, compares great to some of the old school brand names, you know, that have been there for some time. And as far as quality goes, I couldn't really see much to, to flaw this. Um, held up really nice uh, for the whole, you know, duration. Um, maybe I used a bit much more tire than I needed, but still, that's fine. Even if these things go all the way down to slicks, I'm happy, you know, running them. Uh, but yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, that's that. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.